um, you know, many countries are facing macro critical threats uh, from uh, payments. Um, and this again is uh, where uh, we have done a lot of work uh, at the IMF, um, you know, to understand sort of like the vulnerabilities of countries relative um, to losing uh, or the potential of losing monetary sovereignty uh, due to cross-border payments um, that are outside of uh, sort of like uh, the regular uh, banking uh, systems. Um, so, um, you know, the way we think about that is that there's the very, very big picture international monetary system. I already talked about that. So this has a payment system component but also these exchange uh, capital controls and then the global financial safety net component. Then from a country perspective, there's the monetary and financial stability. So each country has to make sure that they uh, have monetary uh, uh, sovereignty and uh, uh, both monetary and financial stability. And so the payment system is the foundation for both monetary and financial stability. And then many uh, countries are uh, uh, very much motivated by financial inclusion uh, aspects as well. Um, you know, in advanced economies, of course, financial inclusion is uh, uh, very broad, but in many emerging markets and developing economies, financial inclusion is relatively low and there are big opportunities through enhancements and payments to increase uh, financial inclusion and uh, 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 foster you know, lending and uh, uh, capital market and economic uh, activity uh, more, more broadly.